all right so welcome to this video basically i've been away for a while you know and i've been an early adopter of uh the module the korg module and usually uh, i wasn't that impressed to tell you the truth um the pianos are nice it's no big deal Compared to the other pianos in, in, in other apps, they're, they're at, at par, you know. Uh, it wasn't really uh, super thrill about it until yesterday when I found out that the ivory keys were at 50% off. And what a difference. If you want to compare again, this would be the native sound, which has got a softness to it. It's playable, but this one is just amazing. And it's just all of them, they're like all their tones are are perfect. And and I should say I'm gonna compare this with I'm gonna tell you what I like about this app and what I don't. And and for instance this beautiful. So they're 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 nice. And the other string. So this piano is super playable, man. Super, super playable. Super, super playable. I, I really like the Ivory um, American uh, Steinway D, which right now is, I guess it's $20, but I bought it for, for $14.99. I guess it's $30, but I bought it for $14.99 in their sale, which now it makes this app playable, truly. Then I run into this baby, which is the Scarby, another third party uh, maker of sounds. And in this part, a Rhodes, which it's beautiful. Look at this. Got the bite. I love it. So it's very, 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 very nice. This was 
best roads on app that I hear and I you can program them a little bit I program my own somewhere uh, oh there's not user there this might it's just a little brighter It's amazing. This piano is amazing. Then I did some. Uh, okay, this. So finally, some solo things usable. And this sound, particular sound, came from the Triton collection because they also have a Triton collection so if you go here to the store you'll see they'll have all these things for sale and in a little bit I'm gonna complain about a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna talk on 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 Korg because basically the Triton sounds are are really good uh, it's got I, I own the Triton and funny enough I just sold it and uh, and I kind of miss some of the sounds so it was awesome for me to to be able to like recoup. I mean, I don't know why they added pianos from the Triton because I'm never gonna use. I mean, they only give you a hundred sounds, and some of them I don't know why they like. If you have already a really good Rhodes, why would you want to waste? I mean, give me Triton sounds, right? They did add the Muset which is nice, um, some of the legato strings, um, the ooze, the brasses are awesome. So, Saxes, I don't know, I just call a sax player if I need a sax. Um, so, here are the leads. <laughs> Love it. So, a lot of the... They added a bunch of stuff that, I mean, it's it's got good sounds. The library is $10, so I kind of got some of my favorite Triton sounds back for like $10. Uh, some of them are, to me, are unusable like this. Eh. It's, it's nice. But uh, acoustic bass, funny enough, the acoustic bass is better than the ones that come with with the with macho normal. And they have some anyway. You get the idea. This is a really good my favorite libraries from this are the Triton Library, the American D, and the uh Rhodes. Scarby Roads. Now, I'm going to start talking Korg about this. Number one, your editing is so limited. You know, you got your cutoffs, and that's it. Release time, attack time, that's, you know, really. Uh, for the price that you're paying, you need to have a little more. Um, your effects also not very editable. Uh, you got your time and your depth, but I mean, really no... I mean, other apps have so much more. And now, for instance, we go back to the store. So I wanted to split some sounds, right? I'm like, oh, I'm going to put my bass over here or whatever. And when they updated to Pro, they said that they were going to add the layering function, you know? Something that's been requested since this stupid app came out. Well, guess what? It is out, but it's $20. 
50% off is actually $40. And, and basically, then you're allowed to split your and layer, you know, but that's limited to only two sounds. So you can only split your two sounds. And that's just dumb. Because you should be able to split, I mean, other apps have been able to split and layer like up to eight or four things at a time and and uh, and they don't charge extra for it uh, this is forty dollars or if it's on sale uh, then you got your split uh, base which already has a little very cheesy uh, symbol on it so if you're like playing some some jazz you, it just sounds stupid uh, you know it does they do throw in some sounds with the uh, like 62 program sound library you know and they're lame at best and then you can only oh and by the way you can't you can't not split and layer you either split or layer you know and they call that like a super advanced feature and and is not now i'm going to go to another app because i'm going to compare these apps as like they say module as a live performance that this is like is the performance expansion right okay well i'm going to show you a real performance expansion and i'm going to go ahead and open sample tank which is uh, let me go back to here and i'm going to uh, put a better sound in it I'm going to go back to module. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to users and my this is my own setting from the Scarby collection. And the other sound that you're hearing is right from the the sample tank. So now, sample tank has a sample tank has a feature called live, right? So when we click at the upper left corner things, it goes to a live thing, and this is like a setting I made. And basically, these are all my layers, and I have a bass here. My bass is here. Now what you can hear is the module. Let me turn it down. All right, so this is just sample tank and this is my bass. And you can't hear anything on the upper registers. Let me see. Oh wait, I gotta be right here. There's, that's where I ended it. All right, and I'll tell you how to do that in a second. And then I added uh, everything synth from the Moog collection of Sample Tank. So now I got my split. And if I want to add some strings, if I want to add an organ, and I can take him out as I see me fit. If I want to add some vocals. So this should sound like this. You can't go on thinking nothing's wrong. Gonna drive you home. Now I'm gonna go ahead and for instance, I'm gonna play another song. I'm gonna turn this off. And I was just programming songs that I actually play, okay? So I'm gonna turn this back up. So we can hear the piano more. 
and I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So let's see. Oops. You take a look, baby. At the organ. Now, if you notice, here is where I ended the other sounds. And then here's just the roads from module. Because you have the ability on this app to, for instance, press right now. When, when I press, that's the setting that is active. Okay. I press one, all these controls my reverb everything it's gonna be just on that if I do it like that it's gonna be on that if I do it like that it's gonna be on that so right now what I'm gonna do is um, over here under the logo of sample tank you have your mixer which you can bring it's, it's the same volume as here and the same pan but it's just a quicker way of accessing it and then here the lines Boom, it brings you where you can have your your split points and you can have up to eight layers or up to eight splits, however you want, you know. So I decided to keep my um, three, the organ at G3. See, this is the organ. I'm going to press it. It's going to light up. Right here, so G3 is my split because I want it in this chord. But when I leave it here, I just want the piano in the background to so I can so I can do little birds and whatever without the strings and everything sounding. Um, so anyway, I can add more stuff to, to this if I wanted to, you know. And then you can just go ahead and save your setting. Um, uh, so for instance, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down this piano completely. And I'm going to build a thing from scratch. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to go plus. And I'm going to say test multi. Okay, it accepts it. Now it's empty, right? So I'm in channel one here and tap here to browse. And I'm going to go ahead and, and, and I'm going to, uh, this is drums. I'm going to go libraries. I'm going to go to sample. Uh, I like the, these libraries I, I bought extra and, and they're nice. Uh, I'm just going to pick something from here. Let's see, punch you up, right? Electro, oh, beat. I might keep that. Let's see. I'll just keep that. And then, moving on, I'm going to add, but I, but I want this. So you see how I have C2 is selected. If I go C2. If I go to the other one, it selects the next track. See, if you follow right here too, if I press this, it's now it's highlighted, now it's one. So if I scroll over here, I'm going to grab that G8 and I'm going to bring it all the way down to about... I brought it to way too much. I want it around B. So B2, that's, that's going to be my split point. 
B to B C right here. There's no sound. B two. So now in my controller, if I press C three, it won't sound. So now here, I gotta switch this. In these squares, you'll see channel two, channel one, channel two, or up to eight, right? I'm gonna switch this to maybe channel one. And now I'm gonna be able to hear something. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask for another Rhodes. I don't think the Rhodes is gonna be as nice as this Carby, but it's close. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say uh, electric piano. And these are the ones that come from, from with, I gotta change the channel to channel one. Duh. See, it's not as nice. So what I'm gonna see if, if they have a different one. Then uh, a suitcase. It's better. Ballot suitcase. See, I'm still not convinced, so I'm gonna go to a different library. I'm gonna go to Sonic Synth and see what they have. Sonic Suitcase. Better. Let's go with that for now. Or, or, or a whirly. So now what I gotta do, I'm gonna keep it on the whirly. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change, I'm gonna bring this C2 to start the split point right here on C3. So now and my bass starts. So what I gotta do now is bring the transpose of the piano one octave down, which I do it right here on the transpose and I bring it one octave down. And now, just for fun, I'm gonna add some sort of pad. Let's see what kind of strings do I have. Synth pads, these are the synth pads that come with. Oh, I gotta change the channel. Three, channel one, done. Don't like it. So, I'm gonna go to the sample mode and I'll go to Sonic Synth and see what they have in synth pads. Something subtle. Again, I'm gonna bring, make sure I have the three over here on this on the third square highlighted, and I'm gonna go ahead, start it right there, put it to C3, and I'm gonna bring again the transpose to 12. And then let's say I have, uh, let's add some more. Let's add an organ to this. And. Let's go back to the lab. let's see the sample tank pro what they have in organs. We gotta switch to channel one. Like it, like it. And the same thing. I select the track and then I bring it to C3. Now 
now what I can do is bring some of these volumes down so that they don't overpower so that they don't overpower the, the piano so now let's let's actually play a song so now what I can do is I can just turn this on and off and I can just like uh, Let's break the organ back. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great sounding module and I didn't have to pay any extra to get all the goodies. Now if I, if I like this, I can go ahead and just save it as test. Boom, and it just saved all my things. Now I can go back to my edit sound right there. And there are all my... There's my, there's my, my set that I wanted. And even though the pianos are not as nice as the third-party things for module, as an app, Sample Tank, as a performance app, Sample Tank way, way is more of a pro app than, than module. So if you're like thinking about getting one or the other, I mean, if you're just a piano player and you're just going to sit down and play the piano, then I guess, yeah, get, get module and... If you like the native sounds, then that's awesome. If not, I, Ivory sounds amazing. And so the roads. So if you just don't care and just play piano, then I, I would suggest your module is the better app. But as a performance app that you need different sounds and layers and, and, and good response, it's Sample Tank is way, the the better better app you know it, it, it just is and i'm so surprised that korg does not catch up to the to the apps and then when they actually add uh, a requested feature they add something uh, first of all they add it and they want to charge you for it uh, the price of the app <laughs> actually you know and and then that feature is substandard because it's just a feature that instead of being able to layer eight sounds or four sounds or and split them however you want they only allow two sounds so you can layer one sound to another or split one sound with another and that's just lame i'm sorry so car come on korg come on catch up i want to like you now you say, why do I buy the app? Well, I do use Gadget a lot and um, when I'm in an airplane and stuff like that. So I wanted to have access to, to those sounds. And, uh, and, uh, and I see that the, the marketing and pricing point of view of Korg is probably, well, we sell keyboards. I mean, they're probably thinking that they sell keyboards for $3,000. So buyers are not gonna mind paying $40, $20 for, for this expansion, you know? 
but they have to remember that they're in a different world right now when it comes to, to making music with Apple devices. Um, mobile music is a different world and the pricing is different, you know. And unless they can really show me that, you know, their app sounds like their, their um, Kronos, <laughs> then, then don't charge me that. You know, because, um, by the way, I, I did buy a Kronos and I sent it back. I'm a motif player. I like the motif. I, I like the, um, even the Mo ones. I think they're, they're just better sounding pianos all, all around. Um, and uh, so I'm kind of picky about the piano I play and I'm kind of picky about the, the, um, the roads and stuff, you know, and if you pay a lot of money for, for a thing, then you should get what you have. So, in, in summation, the sample tank with their ability to make your patches however you want, bring, turn the, the, the things on and off as you please. Let's assume that I have a looper, okay, for a second, you know, and and I'm and I'm looping something, and I and and I'm gonna add right here, just for fun. I'm gonna add a guitar, and a thicker picker. And I'm gonna bring it to track channel one. Uh, acoustic. I'm gonna bring another one, string queen, electro lead, light crunch, play, oh mute, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna turn all this off. Let's see that I have a looper, okay? I'm gonna bring this up and down. And I start looping, and I loop oh, this, you know, like. And I want the guitar, and now that part is looped. And then I just want to go ahead and turn this on, and I want to go. You know, and then just keep building my loop, and then bring the organ up. And, or just everything, you know. Oh, it's because I still have, do I have this, uh, I don't know what it sounds like this. Oh, I never brought the organ down. It just sounds nice. Anyway, so look, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go to Edit Sunrise, and then I'm gonna go back to Test, and I'm gonna, as you see, just reloaded the program without those additional things that I had. So anyway, this is an amazing program. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to this Carby keyboard, turn it up. And then you can see how much more beautiful it sounds. Don't steal that, that's coming up in my next album. Hey, if you guys want to check out some of my music, it's on eddie-g.com. That's 
E-D-D-I-E-G.com. It's available on Apple and Spotify, etc., etc. So anyway, um, yeah, these pianos are great. The Scarby, the Ivory American. Um, awesome, awesome. But I mean, right now, I would I would like just to give me a bass, and I can't because if I want a bass at the bottom, then I'm gonna have to pay another forty dollars, and that's just not cool. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. It was long, I know, and and I probably talked too much, but I wanted to actually show you a hands-on situation of of how this this um, how this compares to sample tank as a performance app sample tank blows it out of the water now mm. as a piano app with the synthonici piano which is actually not cork it's a it's a third party company and, and Scarby, which is a third-party company, with those sounds added to them, this app is awesome. That, you know, it's like, uh, now if they came up with these same libraries for Sample Tank, then I would say just go with Sample Tank. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If you are a piano player, if you only want to open spend only like up to 50 bucks or something like that on an app if you're just a piano player and you just want to play piano and good roads modules for you if you're a multi-purpose keyboard player that plays with bands any style then sample tank is is the way to go definitely now if you can afford them both then that's the way but i we should all write to Korg and tell them to catch up and to add these extra features for free not to overcharge for them and if they're gonna charge for them then make it count you know do something that nobody is doing something in innovative as of right now they just kind of like look lame stop spending the money on that marketing that they do calling themselves the pro and the leading app of music and, and invest that money in actually making their app better so anyway i hope you like this and thank you very much Bye.